Every time a woman or a wife wants to spice things up in her marriage, uh, she might consider taking these boudoir pictures where mm. she's dressed in sexy lingerie and she looks very provocative and sexy. Um, but now it turns out that guys are catching on to the trend, straight guys are catching on to the trend, and it's making Catherine Leonard's business successful. She owns a business known as New York City Boudoir, um, and she uh, focuses specifically on men who want to take sexy pictures for their wives or their girlfriends. So let's give you guys a little taste of what she does, just so you guys know what the pictures look like. So Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is for your wife or girlfriend? But if it's a surprise and you're giving it to her, isn't the first question she's going to ask, whose hands are on your Johnson? To be fair, we don't know what the scenario is behind this gentleman's photo. That might be his wife's, wife's hands. Um, so <laughs> that puts you in trouble, man. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. It's interesting that the two the two hands were needed to, to cover the junk. So uh, even if they weren't it? needed, I'm sure that he felt better about that way of doing it. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, let's get two hands in there. He's like, absolutely, I'll pay anything you want for this picture. <laughs> no. Um, uh, Catherine Leonard says that some guys might not even have a wife or a girlfriend, but they'll come and get their pictures taken because they work really hard on their bodies, they exercise all the time, so they want to capture that moment. So it's kind of a glorified selfie. Now they're not taking it themselves, right? But like, they're, so instead of doing this. They have somebody come in and yeah. hold their Johnson. Do they, is There's it mandatory to hold the Johnson part? No, this is just one example of okay, one picture. I'm All sure right. that there are different poses and different styles. But I will say, look, when I first saw this, I thought that it was disturbing. But the only reason why I said it was huh. disturbing, just hold on, listen to me for one second. No, I you won't. guys think I'm too judgmental. Uh, <laughs> I just thought of me in the situation where my boyfriend or my husband gives me this type of picture. And honestly, I would not be turned on by this. I would be a little <laughs> disturbed. But that's just me and my sexual preferences. Some women might totally be into it, so it's different. Um, but I actually don't mind guys doing it for themselves. Like, I know that it's a really? little- Really? Hold on, I know. To I know, me, that's a million times weirder. It's a little narcissistic, but it's a- little. <laughs> It's a little narcissistic. But if you're taking the time and the effort to perfect your body, as some of these guys have, and you want to document it for yourself because it makes you feel good about yourself, then that's fine. Look, I, I'm biased here, obviously, right? <laughs> a little bit. So uh, on the one hand, I look at the dude and I'm like, all right, dude, yeah, all right, okay, all right, oh, yeah, I got a nice body, oh, you wanna hold my Johnson, oh, I'm gonna take a picture while I'm naked, get the fuck out of here, right? On the other hand, let's not kid ourselves, I'm not going to be the first one to volunteer for a doudoir. <laughs> so I might be a little jelly jelly, as Anna would a say. A little bit, a little bit. Um, but I will say, it's really difficult for guys to be sexy, like, to be sexy, because... No, look, I guess it's difficult for some guys. No, the reason why I say that is because for women, you can try to be sexy, and it can be obvious that you're trying to be sexy, and it'll still be considered sexy. For men, I feel like once they try to be sexy, they seem creepy. <laughs> And it sucks, it sucks, because like women can do whatever the hell they want, and as long as they're mildly attractive, they'll get the attention they're looking for. For men, it's a little different. Men have to be sexy on accident. Yeah, well, have you heard me read porn tweets? <laughs> that was super sexy. <laughs> people were upset at that video. Oh, people also liked it because uh, the, you know, turn on the, the sexy voice there a little bit. I, I might not be a boudoir bro, okay? But I do have that sultry voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fail.